Well, I had a few questions about how the three phases are one in relation to the fields to the magnets. If you look at one of my uh, earlier videos, if you, you will note the orientation of these magnets is, is north, south, north, south. So that means we've got to wind these on here north, south, north, south. We've got three sets of windings one, phase one, start, phase two, start, phase three, start. Right, so we'll take the first phase, start, which is that. We put that there and we're going to put it down to the first one. We're going to miss one, two, and come up the third one. We'll carry that on all the way up as you can see across and we'll do as many turns as we require I do 50 turns on mine so basically that's what we do like so I'm not going to do 50 turns on this I haven't got the time with this video now when we get back to the top there if you can see that's where I am we've now got to go miss two down anti-clockwise yeah Now, now we've got to go clockwise, so at the bottom of there, we miss two, we go up, and we go clockwise. Can you see that? I hope so on the video. I'm not actually watching the video, so I'm hoping it's in shot for you. So as I say, I'm not putting as many winds on as I need here. So we've just gone clockwise. We now need, back to the top again, to go anti-clockwise, like so. as many turns as we need and we end up finishing where we started there now what I'm going to do, I didn't really want to snap this stuff but I'm actually going to cut that off you should really mark the beginning of your phase and the end of your phases on the end of these with a bit of tape mark it end on the end and start where you started just to give you so you know where it is right phase two as we can see we marked it on phase two start put a little label on the end of there phase two start I haven't done that uh, I just want to get on with this quick we need to go next to the first one so where we marked it as I said across miss two same as the first time round and clockwise do as many turns these turns must all be the same on all the phases when you come back up so in other words we just say we've done 50 turns we come back to the top and we've just done those clockwise so now this 50 or our imaginary 50 would go anti-clockwise now we come across the bottom we miss two we come back up and we're now going to go clockwise as you can see now we're going to go back up and we're going to come back and we're now going to go anti-clockwise to finish phase two like so meaning we finish back in the same place as the other one again so when you look at these actual phases that starts that's clockwise that's clockwise that's anti-clockwise that's anti-clockwise and same with with that that's clockwise clockwise anti-clockwise anti-clockwise which corresponds with the north south poles of the magnets on your on your armature or your, your spindle of course you just do the same with the next one and that's all your three phases done now all the starts of your phases in other words all the th you'll have three starts and three ends all the starts go together you just wind up all three of those together and that's how you finish them the rest go into a bridge rectifier um, six bridge rectifier as your six diodes as you will have seen on the forum that I've posted